Good morning, YouTube. My name is Justin. I run this channel here on YouTube called Bike and Bird, where we do everything from bike builds to gear review to group rides, you name it. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of the action. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Fly Racing M16 riding shoe. <laughs> Anytime a rookie rider asks me what gear do I absolutely need, one of the first things that comes to mind is a good pair of riding boots, or better yet, riding shoes. I personally hate the look and feel of riding boots, so finding something that was as comfortable as a shoe and protective as a boot was very crucial to me. That's when I came across the Fly Racing M16 riding shoes. And that was about two years ago and I'm still using them today. Before we get into my actual opinions of this shoe, let's go ahead and run over some specs. The M16 riding shoe features a crush resistant sole, a composite shank that isolates your foot from engine vibrations, dual density ankle protectors on both the low and high portions of your ankle. Both the toe and the heel are reinforced for impact resistance and it features a removable insole. So like most of my reviews, we're gonna go ahead and break this down into a few categories. Category number one being style. With one being a size 16 Birkenstock and a 10 being the freshest, flyest pair of Yeezys, I'm kidding, I'm gonna go ahead and put this shoe at an eight. I really enjoy the classic Vans, Chuck Taylor, high top styling. I just really wish that we had more options for colors. Currently this shoe is offered in two different color options, this gray and black that we see here, as well as an all black with white sole that is also their waterproof version. And that's it. Other companies like Speed and Strength are offering multiple different color options across multiple different shoes, and they even have some that look worn for some reason. Another big gripe that I have about the look of these shoes is the shoelaces. They're long. Really long. So long that I have to do the old school lineman wrap around the ankle before you tie it trick. They're so long that if you don't do that trick, they can get caught up in your foot controls and almost make you drop your bike. Or so I've heard. Category number two, comfort. With one being a shoe made out of a layer of Legos and 10 being a Ugelin bro, these get a solid nine. The only reason that these shoes don't get a 10 is because of the break-in period. Although short, only about maybe two or three days of full day wear, it's pretty brutal. Almost to the point where I stopped wearing them. But I powered through it and now they are so comfortable that I can wear them for eight, 10 hours a day on rock-filled parking lots and not even have an issue. They're also multi-seasonal, meaning that I've worn these shoes in as cold as 37 degrees Fahrenheit or as hot as 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and they stay comfortable. Now, of course, a lot of that does go into the sock that you're wearing with this shoe, but it's still a note that has to be said about this shoe that can be comfortable in those variants of environments. Moving on to category three is gonna be price. With one being $100 for a used gym towel and a 10 being $10 for a Super Bowl ticket, these shoes get yet another nine. As of recording this video, this gray and black canvas is going for $99 with their weatherproof, waterproof, all leather black and white ones going for 109. If you look at competitors within the same market, you're looking anywhere between $99 all the way up to $250. So while these are sitting at the lower end of the price spectrum, you're not really sacrificing anything. Category number four, protection. With one being riding in socks and a 10 being a full blown race boot, this shoe gets another nine. I know it's hard to believe that this shoe rates so high even though it looks like a basketball shoe from the 70s, but under its trendy appearance, it's all business. The sole of the shoe feels solid. I mean, step on a bed of nails and you're fine solid. The toe, while not steel toe, is still reinforced all the way across the top here and would still definitely do the job of protecting those little piggies in case of an accident. Moving to the ankle portion is where this shoe really shines. Your ankle is not only protected back here at the heel, but also on the inside and the outside of the ball of your ankle. And of course, with this being a high top shoe, it does offer ankle support as well. Which brings us to our last category, number five, durability. With one being made of paper straws and 10 being made of urban assault straws, these shoes get a 10 all day long. I've worn these shoes over the past 10 years for hours and hours and hours. Countless steps in dirt and gravel filled parking lots, mud, wet grass, you name it. 
And on top of that, even more hours riding. And that's not even counting the riding hours. Hours spent, like I said, 110 degree air temperature, surface temperatures on the asphalt as high as 150 degrees, all the way to the other end of the spectrum to where you're riding in rain so much that your underwear is getting soaked. And to this day, they show little to no wear. These shoes that you're looking at right here are two year old shoes. Of course, I took a rag and wiped off the dirt and stuff off of it. But as you can see, even around like the, uh, the seam and things there's barely any fraying there's no real scuffs there's no tears there's no marks even going down to the bottom of the sole the fly racing logo is still visible although worn is still visible i can honestly say bank for buck this is the best piece of gear i've ever bought that brings our total score to a 46 out of 50 or for those who can't do simple math that is a 92 percent Overall, this is just a solid set of riding shoes. This would make a solid addition to any rider's gear pile. Like I said in the beginning, when I looked for riding shoes, I looked for something that was looked like a shoe, but also provided the protection of a boot, and this just checks all of those boxes. If you'd like to get your own pair of Fly Racing M16 riding shoes, I've gone ahead and included a link down in the description. If you have any question on this product, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments section below. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. It actually does do a lot for the channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.